Hey guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to solve our skill track daily challenge using Python programming language. Before going to logic, if you didn't subscribe to our channel, then subscribe right now and make our work more meaningful. First, we will understand our question. The program has to accept the n pairs of integers. So each pair will contain the starting point and the ending point. Now we have to print yes if it is possible to form a cyclic path with those points else we must print no so first we are getting the n pairs of integers then the each pair will contain the starting point and the ending point then we have to print yes if it is possible to form a cyclic path with those points here we must print no now we'll take our first test case. Now we have to form the cyclic path. So you can see this that is 2 gives 3. So we'll have that. Then after that you can see 3 is the starting point for this pair. So 3 leads to 5. Then 5 is the starting point here. Then 5 leads to 1. Then after that you can see 1 is leading to 2. Now again you can after 2 you can see it gives 3 so it forms the cyclic path. So we will print yes as the output. Then after that we will take our second test case. So here you can see that first here we are having minus 2 which is leading to minus 4. Then after minus 4, it leads to minus 3 and minus 3 is the starting point in this pair. So minus 3 is leading to minus 1. Then minus 1 leads to 2. So after 2, we don't have any leading point or it does not give any points, right? So it does not form the cyclic path. So we'll print no as the output. Now let us implement our program. First we will get the input n that is the number of pairs. Then after that we will get the points in the pairs as in the form of list. So input of dot split off then for see here in range n then like so for example we'll get the pass like this so after that we'll have the starting point as the points 0 and 0 these are the index so for the ending point it will be 0 and 1 so after getting this pair this pair should be removed. So for that, we'll use the slice operation. That is points equal to points one. So this will remove that pair. Then after that, we'll iterate over the pass or the points so that for uh, n minus one, as you know, for if we get like uh, four pass means we should iterate for only the first three pairs here so we have used this then after that we'll iterate over the point in points then after that we have to check for the condition that is if the point of zero is equal to equal to end means we have to 
modify the end as the current endpoint. So in order to place the current endpoint, we have used this, that is point of one. Then the point should be removed. So points dot remove point. Then we'll use break. So after that, if the, all the points are removed, then the points would become empty. The, it will become the empty list. So, and also the start point should be equal to equal to the end point. So we must print yes, else will print no. So we'll have a quick recap. First, we are getting the number of pairs and the points as the input. Then we'll have the starting point and the ending point. So in the starting point and the ending point, we have the zeroth index to be zero and zero. And the first index is zero and one. Then we'll remove this pair using the slice operation. Then after removing, we'll iterate over the points as uh, n minus one. Then we'll also iterate over the point in points and check that if the point of zero is equal to equal to end means the end will be replaced with the current endpoint and the points should be removed. Then after that we'll use break. So if the, all the points are removed means the points would become an empty list and the ending point will become the starting point. So it forms the cyclic path. So we'll print yes, else we'll print no. Now let us execute our program. We'll pass our first test case. So here we have got yes as the output, which is correct. Then we'll pass our second test case. So here you can see we have got no as the output as two does not lead to any point on the pair. Our program has passed all our given test cases successfully. Hope you guys understand. Thanks for watching. See you next video.